It's your boy right here on the wheel, wheels of Sweet Deal. Check this out. Hello and welcome aboard again, my wonderful community. In today's video, we are going to be looking at mastering this finger drumming that we are already started. So, what we are going to be looking at today is how do you really get to build to perfection? I believe before you watch this particular video, you would have seen other areas where I talked about the on beat, the off beat, and a host of other concepts. So, in this by the end of this video, you would have gotten to understand how you will get to begin to master the entire concept of the finger drumming, how you play effectively without issues. So, I believe at this stage, you already have an understanding of the on beat and off beat concept. So, before you become very good in this aspect and even get to play effectively the way you get to see a host of the other DJs play, you need to understand that you are going to be flowing with either the fast, you are going to be going faster with the tempo or slower with the tempo or the middle tempo of the song. So what am I invariably saying here? We need to understand that every song has its own tempo, that is means its own speed. That is the speed that will be guiding you on how you will play most of this track. Just take a very good example like this now. Let me play it so that you get to see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can see what I just did now. You see, this counting of this beat is very, very important at the initial stage. You need to build it very well. And while you are doing that, you need to have at the back of your mind that you must be very familiar with these sounds before you can begin to think of moving from one sound to another. So when you are very familiar with it, then in moving from one sound to another, at this stage, you are not going to be staying on a particular sound for a very long period of time. I believe by this particular stage, it's believed that you already, you are already built a muscle memory around this sound. That whatsoever hand, where your hand is going, whether on the keyboard, so whether on the controller or on your deck, or on the XP drum part. So whatever device you are using, DTJ, CDJ, SR2, and the rest of them, you need to make sure that you are very familiar with the positioning of the sounds. Just like when you are going into graphic or whatever, you must have an idea of the workings of the environment. So you need to be familiar with the workings of your environment. That means if I'm taking my hand like this now, I already know what the sound is. By the time I'm taking my hand to this very point, I already know the sound. I will not be telling the audience, wait, let me hit this particular sound, no. And that means for you to be able to master it, it means to be able to take your hand to any position without having to worry what sound will come out or if the sound will blend with it or not. It means you must build a very flexible environment for yourself. What do I mean by that? You need to have a mental picture of what you want to play. Let's take for example like the initial sample I just did. Look at it. So take a look at this. Look at it. So this is actually following the counting. But in this case, I'm actually in a bit fast. So if I want to follow the tempo slow, this is what I'm going to do. One, two, three, four. By the time I want to be fast, look at it. One. But I'm still following the one, two, three, four that I'm talking about. If I want to begin to combine, I can do it like this. One, two. So at this point, I'm actually following with it. Then if I want to begin to go more complicated, look at it. So you can actually see how you get to flow with these things. So this counting is very, very important as you get to do it. By the time you do it, after a while, your body system will automatically blend with it. And as you are moving your fingers on it, by just tapping on this, I already know the sound that will come out. Look at it. Okay, 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 okay. So you wouldn't need to be worried. If you are still struggling with hitting with a particular sound and wondering which sound will come out, then I think you really need to take it slow again. Come back to the basics and take it slow. That is what I encourage. So the speed at which I'm going to play this particular beat cannot be the same speed I'm going to play on a song that is more than this particular tempo. This is 118. So if I'm going to play another song that is below this tempo, it means I'm going to be a bit slower. Or if I'm going to play another tempo that is... So by just listening to it, you already have an idea. Once you can identify the one, which is the one, two, three, four, then automatically you are good to go. 
when you are starting you need to be following the counting but as time goes on when you are used to it you can begin to play with it easily don't try to rush it it's a very interesting process that you get to appreciate after a while you begin to wonder how far how you are able to get to that particular stage i believe you've got to understand what i just said now thank you for being there i'm going to switch over to another track again this other track that is on this other deck then i'm going to play i'm going to speed up then you get to see the difference <music> It's your boy right here on the wheels of steel. Deal. Fire. 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 Fire.